Streaming for the first time can be complex and scary, but with the right guide, it can be super simple and easy. <sighs> Luckily, I'm here to give you that guide. Because I actually just made the guide I wish I had whenever I first started streaming. It's really simple, so follow this video and I'll get you live in no time. Step one is going to be picking a website or platform you want to go live on for the first time. Now, there are a lot of different places you can stream and share your passions, but the number one pick still seems to be Twitch. And I believe it's going to be because the community building, these tools that it offers at streamers, the options of monetization, and a whole lot more. So let's head over to twitch.tv and create a brand new account. And also, if you already have an account, stay tuned because I'm going to show you one setting that every streamer forgets to set when they first start streaming. So once we get over to Twitch, it will look like this. And the top right hand corner is going to be where we hit login and or sign up. And if you already have an account, it'll actually just show your profile picture like this. So assuming you don't have an account yet, go ahead to the top right hand corner, click sign up, and then just follow the instructions to actually sign up for your account. And when you're making a username, make something that's personal and you, but also make it easy. Don't do something like XX Sniper God 420 XX because when someone asks you where can I find you streaming, you don't want to be like, oh, find me on Twitch as XXX Snipe God XXX 420 XX. And if you did pick that username, well, you can change it in the future. So once we have an account, we'll actually be able to see our profile picture in the top right hand corner. Just go ahead and click that and then go to Creator Dashboard. Now at the creator dashboard is gonna be where your stream manager is at to manage your live information, also your analytics, so that way you can review your streams and how you did. But also, you remember that tip I told you I was gonna show you, the one setting that people forget? Well, go over to settings on the left-hand corner and then click on stream. And then down here in the bottom where it says VOD setting, right here you wanna make sure you click on store past VODs. I can't tell you the number of streamers that have gone live for the first time and this wasn't enabled by default for some crazy reason, but if you wanna make sure that you wanna keep your first stream live and active, then go ahead and click on store past VODs. Also, it helps because people might wanna watch you and see if you finally beat that boss you were spending hours and hours to beat or if you haven't. So it's a good idea to have this on, so make sure you do. And if you have a really good stream you wanna either keep forever or chop up for longer form content later on, make sure you download those as this only lasts for up to seven days. Okay, so you officially have a Twitch account and a place to stream. Congratulations, you're officially an elite employee. I mean, a content creator. But now that we have a place to stream, we actually need software and something to stream to it. So let's go ahead and download software to get you streaming. And the way that people capture their gameplay and send it to a place like Twitch is gonna be through a streaming software and or a broadcast software. And luckily for you, there are a lot of options. Unlike whenever I first started streaming and there was literally just like one or two and they weren't that easy to use. However, Meld Studio is super easy to use and that's gonna be the one that we're using in this video. And the reason why we're using that is because it is a super powerful software. It's absolutely free. It's got plenty of effects built into it. So as you grow as a streamer, you can add so much to your stream for free and it's all built into Meld Studio. And also it's built for streamers by streamers. I mean, you wouldn't use a software that was made by farmers for streaming. For any streamers that do farming and stuff like that, that is not a jab at you. I'm just saying, I would buy your produce, but I am not gonna use your stream software. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to meldstudio.co and hit this download button, or if you just use the link in my description, it's gonna bring you right there so you can download the software from the website. So once you download and install Meld Studio, it'll look something like this. Blank, empty. Let's go ahead and fix that. First order of business, go to the top left-hand corner and go to preferences. Now, this is gonna be the general settings. This is pretty much the only place we need to go to to mess with our settings to get us to start streaming. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna add an output. Now, luckily, if you notice, there is a Twitch icon right here, which means we can just log into our Twitch account. So we go to Twitch, and then you would basically just click this login button, and all you have to do is just log into Twitch with your credentials, and you're good to go. Now, if you want to do it the old school way and use a stream key, you can absolutely do that. We actually have a video on how to find every stream key for any platform you're streaming from. But for this, we're going to just go ahead and log into Twitch. So go ahead and log into Twitch. Once you successfully log into Twitch, it'll look something like this. Now go ahead to the top left hand corner and go to back and this is gonna be where we set up the encoder settings. The first setting we're gonna talk about is gonna be the canvas. So basically what the canvas is, it is the quality that you are sending your image to Twitch. So for instance, if you have a really strong PC, you could probably do 1080p and be just fine with it. Or if you stream to another platform that supports 4K, you can even do up to 4K. You can even do portrait as well, so in case you stream on vertical platforms, you can do that also, but we're just gonna stick to 1080p. Keep in mind, if your computer is not super powerful or if you're noticing you're kind of lagging and having issues when streaming, dropping it down to 720 is a great way to save yourself some performance, so that way you can game and stream smoothly at the same time. Now next, once we actually pick our canvas, we're actually gonna go down to the frame rate. 
Frame rate, you just wanna leave at 60. Again, unless you are having a hard time streaming a smooth stream to Twitch, then you'll wanna drop it down to 30 FPS, but 60 should be just fine. Okay, so next up is gonna be your video bitrate. Now, this number is gonna be solely dependent on what your actual internet speeds are. Now, you're probably wondering, how the heck do I know what I have for upload speed? Well, you could probably try and call your provider and be on hold for a very, very, very long time, or you could just go to Google and you could do a speed test. Once we go to Google, all you have to do is type in speed test and then just hit enter. And now this will bring you to the internet speed test right here. All you have to do is click this button, run speed test. Now, once our speed test completes, it's actually gonna show our upload speed right over here. Now, keep in mind, this actually shows in megabits per second. So to make this easy, let's just pretend that it said it was 10 megabits per second upload. So once we go back to meld and we look at our video bitrate, we can actually handle 6,000 kilobits per second because 6,000 kilobits is six megabits per second. So once you do that test and figure out what your internet can handle, then go ahead and select the appropriate one. Also, this does actually depend on the platform. So basically Twitch suggests all this right here on the screen. It's also gonna be linked in the description down below if you wanna look at it. So we're just gonna keep our video bitrate at 6,000 kilobits per second as that's what's recommended and what we can handle. And then next for hardware encoder, the easiest way to do this is that if you have a graphics card that supports encoding or hardware encoding, go ahead and keep that on. If you have a graphics card that doesn't support hardware encoding, turn it off. And if you don't know if your graphics card supports it, then go ahead and you can just Google search it real quick and it should let you know if it supports it or not. So now that we have our preferences set up and Twitch account added to the Meld Studio, let's go ahead and start making some of our scenes to show off our just chatting and also our gameplay scenes. The first thing we're gonna do is in this top left-hand area next to layers, we're gonna hit this plus button and then we're gonna hit display capture. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and use the drop down to select which display we wanna capture and I believe it is, perfect, that one. Now keep in mind when we're doing a display capture, it will capture all the information that is on this. So if you have any personal information pop up, just keep that in mind, you might be streaming that. Next, let's go ahead and add our webcam. So go to this top left-hand corner, hit the plus button, and then go to video device. And then from this drop-down, you wanna go ahead and select whatever webcam you're trying to use. We're gonna be using the Elgato Facecam Pro in this example, and there we are. Now we have our webcam set up and we can move it around. Now you can also use these corners to drag it and make it smaller or larger. And a cool little effect if you want to is these little round ones, you can just click and drag these round ones and make it rounded edges. Now you look super fancy. Once you get this where you want it, then go ahead and keep that there. And now technically you have your gaming scene and it's all set up. Now let's go ahead and create our just chatting scene to make it more us. So before we do that, go ahead and double click to rename these. We're just gonna name this webcam and then we'll name this gameplay. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate this scene and we're gonna rename this one our just chatting and rename this one gameplay. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and take our webcam and you can just go ahead and right click and fit to canvas. We're gonna get rid of those rounded edges. And there you go. Now we have our gameplay scene and our just chatting scene. And that's pretty much it. Just kidding, we got a couple more things we wanna do. And once you have these sources named, one more thing we wanna do is go to your gameplay and we wanna go ahead and click on add an audio track for this source. Now you see underneath the audio mixer, we now have one for gameplay. So if we go down here to the bottom, we have our audio mixer. So if you notice the audio right here is moving, so that means it's capturing my microphone. So if you want, you can go ahead and use this drop down in case it's not capturing the right microphone and you can pick which microphone you wanna capture. One option I do wanna show you is just gonna be the magic mic, cause this is, well, pretty magical to be honest. So you click magic mic and then you go ahead and hit this little setting right here and just make sure it's either moderate or low or high. Now basically what this does is it will actually control your gain to make sure you're not getting too loud and also it will help cut out some of that background noise. So in case you have a fan or other things like that going on in the background, Magic Mic is gonna help you with that automatically. Now the next thing I'm gonna show you is gonna be the actual gameplay. So if we go to the gameplay sound, what we wanna do is you can click edit and either make this a global track to where it will show up and it will still play even when we're on our just chatting scene, like you see down below. Or if you don't want that and you want it to be silent to really just focus on your beautiful voice, you can go ahead and hit this edit button and then turn off the global audio track. And then there you have it. We basically have a stream set up and ready to go right inside of Meld Studio. And then one last thing I'm gonna show you before you hit that go live button, because I know you really want to, is I'm gonna show you actually how to change your title and your category so that way you go live in the proper place on Twitch. Okay, so once we head back to Twitch, again, go to the top right-hand corner, go to your creator dashboard, and then from here, we actually wanna to go to the left-hand corner and go to Stream Manager. 
Now, once this web page loads, all you have to do is click this little pencil button right here to edit your stream info. And then this is going to be where you put in you're either just chatting, if you're playing a video game for the first time, or if you want to tell people how bad you are at Apex and put it there, you can do that. Or if you want, you can also change your category right down here. So in case you're playing, you know, Fortnite, we can go ahead and properly be shown in the right category. And the reason why this is important is because the title might help people find out what you're trying to stream or maybe what your experience is going to be with this video game. And you can also change your category. So that way, if you want to do arts, music or anything like that, you can actually be in the proper category to find people looking for that kind of content. Now, finally, the moment everyone's been waiting for. You can hit that go live button. That's right. You're ready to go and start streaming right on Twitch right now. So it was that simple, that easy. And if you guys really enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it a like. If you guys want more information on how to make Meld Studio even more awesome, go ahead and check out our YouTube channel or hit subscribe. We have plenty of tutorials there and on the way. And if you guys are looking for a place to meet other amazing creators, then feel free to join the Meld Studio Discord where you guys get ideas, updates on Meld Studio, and just meet some pretty awesome people like me. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. And we will catch you on stream.